Hello, my 3D printer friends. Hello, members and Patreons. I'm here with the Bamboo Lab A1, AMS2 Pro, and AMS HT. Over here is the A1 Mini. We are going to install the AMS HT to the A1 with the AMS2 Pro. The A1 Mini is here because those of you with the A1 Mini can follow along exactly the same. To install the AMS HT, you will first need to install the AMS2 Pro. The A1 and the A1 Mini both require a 3D printed adapter. That adapter is different for each machine. That is the only difference in the process of installing the AMS2 Pro to an A1 or an A1 Mini. I have an entire video with a walkthrough of that process. Get yourself to that point with an AMS or AMS2 Pro installed to your A1, and then we will continue from there. Here we are looking at the back of the AMS and the AMS HT. With the AMS properly hooked up to the A1 and the A1 turned off, we will add the AMS HT. Using a six pin connector, connect the AMS to the AMS HT. Each AMS has two six pin connectors. You may use either one. Don't forget to plug in the AMS2 Pro in order to use heat. With the AMS2 and AMS HT connected and plugged in, insert the AMS HT's PTFE tube into an available slot on the same hub as the AMS. There will be three available. Pick one and plug it in. All right, let's go over our setup. You should have six pin to six pin, six pin to six pin, four pin to four pin, PTFE to buffer, PTFE to buffer, PTFE to hot end, AC adapter to use heat drying, AC adapter to use period. With everything connected, turn the printer on. You should hear some creaking from both machines. A happy tone from your A1, a display on your HT, and the usual stable lights on your AMS. To verify it sees the AMS, touch into filament, and you will see AMS A. To see the AMS HT, scroll down, and you will see HTA. Both my AMS and my AMS HT are detected. You have successfully connected your AMS or AMS2 Pro and the AMS HT. You can now do five colors on your A1. I'm Mr. Greg, and you're on 3D Rundown.